When you're in a relationship with someone, whether it's romantic, business, friendship, you're going to trigger parts of each other that need to be balanced. Whatever I trigger in you, there's some truth in there. I may, it may, I may go over the top with it, but there's some truth in there. Whatever you trigger in me, it may not be all the way true, but there's some truth in there. So the goal is, what am I triggering you within you that needs to be balanced? And what are you triggering within me that needs to be balanced? And if we can show up in all relationships and that understanding, instead of being defensive when the triggers come, we could take that as an opportunity to look, okay, I'm triggered. Where's the imbalance? They're trying to show me where something is imbalanced. Where is that? So that's what was happening in my last relationship. I was being triggered and I was like, okay, I'm going to work on, and I started balancing out. I realized parts of myself that was imbalanced and I started changing my actions to rebalance things. And then I got counseling because I said, let's just, let's get counseling. And when I got the counseling, the counselor showed me, Jason, you're expecting her to see it from the logical lens when she's seeing it from an emotional lens. And it finally clicked. So then when we were engaged, I started to see how she was seeing things from a, from an emotional place. So I remember um, there was a certain incident to where it didn't make sense to me why she was so mad when I would express myself in a certain way. But one day I came to her and I said, you feel this way because this happened and that make you feel like this, right? And she started crying. She said, yes. Even though oh, logically, logically, dream. <laughs> logically, it did not make any sense, but emotionally it did. So as the divine masculine, now I understand when I'm with my woman, she may be feeling emotionally in a way that's not logical, but it's my job to allow her to feel that, but to still be a guider in the logical solution outside of emotions. Because if we're coming up with emotional solutions, it's it's going to be chaos. So this is what the masculine energy does. A conscious masculine energy recognizes the emotions without belittling it, trying to understand, getting an understanding of why she's feeling that way, and then guiding her in a logical way outside of emotions. Hmm. Well, now, that would be... Sorry, go guess. on. No, no, go on. Sorry, I interrupted. I was going to say, as a woman, you can develop that masculine part of yourself inside of yourself to recognize when you're too emotional and to let your master come in and ground you with logic and not react with their emotions. And the same thing's men, because we get emotional too. When a man gets over emotional and becomes unconscious, that's an unconscious feminine representation of yourself. So mm. if I'm unconscious, it's my job to not react with the emotions, sit with it and feel it, calm down, and then respond. If I react in the emotions, I'm gonna cause chaos. Mm. Okay? Now, most men who can't even tap into their intuition and their feminine nature, they just operate all from logic. So on the other end of the spectrum, they don't know how to show up with emotional support because they don't understand what's happening emotionally. And I was part of that in a sense too. Even with all the work I've been doing for a whole decade, I just got, I just got to a point where I can understand how a woman sees things from an emotional lens. Like I just got to that point. Now I understood parts of the emotional stuff, but now it really clicked, okay? So um, now I'm in a position where I don't take things so personally when it shows up with the mm -hmm. emotional projection. Yeah. Now I can go into my heart and be like, I understand why you feel that way. It's okay. And just hold space for her 